Hey guys, this is Colin and I'm really excited to be the one to tell you about a new add-on to CSS Hero that's going to be released in the next few weeks. It's called CSS Hero Inspector. As you can see, I've got a beta version on here and you need version 1.23 of CSS Hero for this to work. So when CSS Hero Inspector comes out in the next few weeks, make sure you've got CSS Hero upgraded to version 1.23 at least and then the Inspector tool will work fine. So I've actually set up a demo site. I'm going to give you a quick preview of the Inspector tool at work. Here we go. So we're going to start CSS Hero as normal by clicking on the lightning bolt. And once that's started, we will actually click on the targeting tool. And that's when we'll see the new feature here. So CSS with a little slide switch there, we click on that icon. And in from the left slides the CSS inspector window. Now this looks very familiar to people that would work with Firebug or Chrome inspector. It's very similar. So it's actually showing us all the CSS code that we've generated on this page. And it does it on the fly. It does it live. So if we make any changes with CSS Hero, we're going to see them on the left-hand side here. So for example, we're going to take this heading title here. I'm going to click on CSS Hero. I'm going to change the font size. Now you can see up here it's set at 18 pixels right now. Okay, so if I go in over here to click on text. I'm going to change my font size to 30 pixels and you can see that it's updated it live over there. Obviously we've got the WYSIWYG or what you see, what you get view over here. You can see that it's 30 pixels. Okay. Now I can also go in here and change that over here if I want. So if I want this to be 20 pixels, I type on there, press enter, and I've got 20 pixels. It updates it in CSS Hero over here. And if I click save, that will all be saved in my CSS. So let's do that. Click save. And I'm going to go back in once that's saved and make some more changes. So once again, click on my targeting tool. I'm going to click on the CSS element here. You can see the switch moves over. Okay. Now this element here, I just added for the demo purposes here. It's got no styling other than it's an H2. So it won't show up in the inspector window quite yet. So what we're going to do is click on it. Okay. I'm going to go into CSS here and make some changes to this. First thing I'm going to do is change the color. So it's black right now. I'm going to go to red. Now, as you can see in the left-hand side, CSS Hero Inspector has added it to the window. We've got the CSS element, and then we've got the property color is now changed to red, which is 25500, and it's got a transparency value of 1, which equals 100%. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make some more changes to that so you can see this get updated as I do it. So, all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, go down there. I'm going to make this a uppercase, okay? And I'm also going to go back up here and make it bold. So as you can see, I've done the text transform uppercase and bold, and that stays there like that. So I'm going to click save one more time, and that is now added to my CSS. Going to go in here one more time. I'm going to show you all the tools inside the CSS inspector. So if we start off at the top here, we've got our media window. So I've got a desktop view, I've got tablet view, and I've got a mobile phone view. The middle icon here is actually going to hide and display the CSS Hero window. So if I click that, it disappears. If I bring it back over here, it brings it back in. This is our search tool, so we can search for one particular tag. If I example, put uh, H2 in here, it will show me all my H2 tags. Okay, so that's a, a useful search tool if you're looking for a particular CSS element. Now I'm going to go back over to here to my media query. Right now, we've got the full size font there, put your fantastic tagline here. Now if I go to my mobile view, okay, I'm going to click on the tablet view. Now what this does, as you can see, that is way too big for my mobile view. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually edit it live, okay, and as you can see it comes into view down here. It's uh, slightly grayed out and shows me it's my elements. Okay, I'm going to change it live this time in the inspector window. And I'm going to bring this down to 16 so it doesn't look so big. And there we go. We've got put your fantastic tagline here sized for the mobile window. Now, one thing that you can't do in Firebug or Chrome Inspector is actually click save and have that as part of your website now. So we've done that. Now, on a mobile view or a mobile phone view, that particular CSS element now comes in at this size, okay? But if I change that to the desktop view again, it goes back up to the full size again. Isn't that cool? So let's go back over there one more time into the CSS inspector window, show you some of the other tools here. Now, if I actually click on this element here, I can also get rid of the bold tag by clicking on this little icon here. I can temporarily disable bold, and as you can see, it's got rid of the bold tag, okay? And if I actually click on the X, it will remove that completely. 
Now it's permanently got rid of the bold tag. If I want to get rid of the text transform as well, the uppercase, I can click that. So temporarily, I'll, I think I'll keep it. Let's just bring that back. So that stays the way it is. Okay. Now, one of the other things we can do here is you see this little icon here. This will actually highlight which element we're actually working on. If we click on this, you see everything else dims and it actually shows me that we're working on that one there. Okay. So if I go and take the X off of that and get back to my whole page again, I can make changes to that from CSS Hero over here or using the new inspector tool. So it's really cool. It allows you to learn as you create the CSS and CSS Hero. You can see the code being generated on the left-hand side there, and it's a valuable tool to make changes. I think it's going to be an awesome addition to CSS Hero plugin, and it's coming out very soon. Thanks for stopping in and watching this video. I hope you're as excited as I am about the new CSS Hero Inspector add-on. It's coming out soon, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye now.